As we mentioned before, we also need a text editor to create our script files, the PHP code that our web server will execute. Technically, we could use any editor at all to enter our code, but there are good reasons to use an editor that was specifically designed for coding. Coding's not like prose, and I've chosen the Bluefish editor for four reasons. It highlights the code structure as we type. It allows us to collapse and expand logical parts of the code to make it all more readable. It lets us create snippets in a structured way, and it's cross-platform, so it works on different platforms like Mac, Windows, and Linux, and even looks the same on all these platforms. Now let's go to the Bluefish website, bluefish.openoffice.nl, and download the Bluefish editor. Click on the Download menu option, and choose the server closest to you, either the German server or the USA server. Click on the Binaries folder, and choose your operating system. I'm choosing Win32 because that's the one we're using for this demonstration. I'm going to download the most recent version, 2.0.0-1, and save the file. Now if I used Firefox, I can right-click on the downloads list and open the containing folder. Find the Bluefish executable, Bluefish version number setup exe, double-click it, to run the executable. Click Run when the security warning pops up. Select your language and click OK. When it asks Welcome to Bluefish, click Next. Click Next to agree to the license conditions. Click Next to install Bluefish default components. And Next again to install Bluefish in your Program Files folder. Finally, click Install. This process automatically runs the GTK setup program as well. It only takes a few seconds, about 15 to 20 seconds, so on this occasion we'll wait for it. When the installation is complete, click Next and select All Options for File Associations and Finish. Close those unnecessary folder and download boxes and notice that Bluefish is placed on the desktop as an icon.